right guys today i'm coming at you with an updated tutorial of how to downgrade your iphone 4s or certain models of ipad 2 from ios 9.3.6 to ios 6.1.3 now um i did a video like this a couple months ago and uh people have been having problems installing the phoenix app so i'm going to show you two ways to install the app if the one doesn't work, you can do the other one and we can get this done. So if we go into settings general about, as you can see, we're indeed running iOS 9.3.6. The first thing we need to do is install Phoenix. This is the way that usually doesn't work for some reason lately, but I'll still show you how to do it. So you're gonna go to this exact URL, jailbreaks.app slash legacy dot html if you don't go to that exact link you'll just get a blank page again geobreaks.app slash legacy dot html so as you see we have install phoenix ios 9.3.5 9.3.6 tap that so once you tap on that you should see geobreaks.app would like to install phoenix tap install now go back to your home screen and wait for it to install but most of the time, at least recently, it doesn't install properly. Usually you can tell right off the bat by that app icon. That is not the right icon, but we'll see. Unable to download app. Phoenix could not be installed at this time. So let's tap done. And I will show you the brand new way to get this app installed on this phone so we can jailbreak it. So here we are on the Mac. These links will be down in the description, by the way. First thing we're gonna do is go to sideloadly.io, scroll down to the bottom, download the macOS version. Once it's downloaded, we can click on it, drag it into our applications folder, and we can try to open it, but it probably won't let us. Let's see. Sideloadly cannot be opened. Click done, go to system settings, down to security and privacy, all the way down to the bottom. Click open anyway, open anyway again. Okay, now once it opens, make sure you select the iPhone, click it. Now, what we need to do is go to the second link in the description and download the Phoenix app IPA file. As you can see that downloaded very quickly. Now we go back and decide boldly. We select the IPA we just downloaded for Phoenix. Click open. Now it's there, we have the phone selected here. Next, we need to input our Apple ID and our Apple ID password. It's gonna use our Apple ID to sign the Phoenix app on the device for seven days. After that, you need to re-sign it. But we're only using this to downgrade to iOS 6 anyway. So it doesn't really matter because there's a fully untethered jailbreak for iOS 6. But anyway, type in your Apple ID and your Apple ID password. Once that's done, you can click start. All right, so it's done. As you see on the iPhone, there is the Phoenix app. Tap it to open, prepare for jailbreak, accept, dismiss, proceed with jailbreak, begin installation. We want to use provided offsets. We get a storage almost full prompt. That's a good sign. The phone is now rebooting. All right, the phone has just finished rebooting. Let's slide to unlock and see if we have Cydia. Yes, we do have Cydia. Now, if it did not work on your first try, just keep going into Phoenix and trying to re-enable the jailbreak until you eventually get Cydia on your home screen. Now, let's open Cydia. It's gonna come up and ask us if we will not upgrade anything yes we are going to do we're going to do the essential upgrade there we go you want to select upgrade essential confirm once this is done Cydia will most likely crash and then you just need to reopen it and i'm going to tell you the two tweaks that we need to install very simple very quick all right so see there we go Cydia just crashed now we can reopen it now we need to go to search and we need to search for open SSH. It's gonna be this first one. 
this green one we want to install that confirm storage almost full we can ignore that okay so that's open ssh done now we can return to studio go back to search this time you want to search for core and we want this one the second one core utilities tap that tap install tap confirm once this is done we can move to the next step which will be on the mac using legacy ios kit and terminal all right so that's done we can now go back to the home screen and put the phone down back on the mac now we can now close out of side loadly close out of this now what we need to do next is go to the github page for the legacy ios kit click on the latest latest release and then select legacy ios kit mac os 24 dot 10 dot zero one and download that now next we want to go to our launch pad or you can do a command space and type ter to open terminal but we're going to open terminal and we are going to go to the legacy ios kit folder and you'll see here there's a bunch of files here the restore.sh is the one we want to focus on so let's click that and just drag it into the terminal window and then press enter. Okay, so we immediately get a pop-up that we need to install the Xcode command line tools, which we're going to install. Agree, it's downloading. Once it's done downloading, we'll be back. All right, so we're back now. The command line tools were successfully installed, so we can click done on that. Now we need to run the script again, so let's drag the restore.sh back in, press enter. As you see, it identified it as an iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, 1, iOS version 9.3.6. Now what you want to do is type 1 to select restore slash downgrade, press enter. Now here you can either choose iOS 8.4.1 or iOS 6.1.3. For this video, we're gonna do 6.1.3. So type two and press enter. And we want to download the target IPSW from Apple's servers. So once again, press two and hit enter. It will begin downloading the IPSW. This won't take too long because it is a fairly small file. We're already over halfway done. Okay, and the IPSW is downloaded. As you see, it is now over here. iPhone 4, 1, 6.1.3, IPSW. Now, what we wanna do is type in three to start restore. Here, it's asking you if you would like to jailbreak the phone right off the bat. For this, I'm gonna say no but you can say yes if you want. It's the easiest way to get the jailbreak done for 6.1.3. And then here, this answer depends on how much RAM your Mac has when creating the custom IPSW. So if your Mac has less than eight gigabytes of RAM, select no. If it has more, select yes, enter. It's now creating the IPSW. Once again, won't take too long, okay. So here we need to enter KDFU mode. And here it says install OpenSSH and Core Utilities in Cydia, which we already have done. After installing these requirements, lock your device. You'll be prompted to enter the root password of your device. The default root password is Alpine. Your password input will not be visible, but it is still being entered. On entering KDFU mode, the device will disconnect. Proceed to unplug and replug your iOS device when prompted. Okay, so we can hit enter on that. It's asking for the root password, which is Alpine. Just type it in slowly, make sure you get it correct. It's not gonna show it on the screen, but it is indeed entering. Once you've typed Alpine, you can press enter and we need to get ready to disconnect and reconnect our device. Okay, unplug, replug. Okay, looks like we did it. It's progressing. And on the phone shortly, we should see the old iOS 6 Apple logo. And if we do, we've been successful. And there we go. Just like that, guys. We've successfully downgraded.
I'm going to leave the phone here and you guys can watch the downgrade process. All right, there we go. It is 40% done sending the file system. As you can see, the progress bar is slowly increasing on the iPhone. Now, as we're waiting, I would like to mention that usually when you plug in the iPhone to the computer, um, you need to tap trust on the iPhone to uh, initiate the handshake. And also, you will likely get pop-ups during this process that you need to click on allow for the connection between the Mac and the phone. So if anything comes up saying allow iPhone to connect, make sure you click allow and make sure you tap trust on the iPhone when it prompts you. For some reason, it did not prompt me for either. I'm not sure why, but I'm sure for the majority of you, it's going to ask you to tap trust and make sure you click allow on all the pop-ups that come up on the Mac relating to the phone. Okay, we're making some progress here. It's sending the baseband now. Done sending the baseband. Okay, we're almost done. Not too much longer, guys. Progress bar one is complete. There will be a second progress bar that comes up, and then we will be in iOS 6. All right, should come back. There it is. We'll get a second progress bar, and then we are good to go. And there we go. Check out this animation, guys. Oh, that is so good. So good, man. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Start using iPhone. There we go. We've successfully downloaded from iOS 9.3.6 to iOS 6.1.3. As you see right there, version, if it wasn't obvious enough already, 6.1.3, build number 10B329. I hope you guys enjoyed the updated tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll help you out as best as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts on the iPhone 16 camera and the audio mix sound quality. I'll see you guys later.